Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to add lab counts. So, uh, for that purpose, uh, we can add a new UI element here. So, I will just uh, uh, duplicate this object and we can place it over here, maybe. And we can select these both elements and we can place these in the middle so uh, I will just rename this to lab count and inside this we will just delete everything and for lab count we will just add labs here and here we will add labs okay so that's nice and we can make it something like uh, yeah we will make it a little bit smaller so I will just add these labs under this uh, under this panel actually so or you can add right or left side as well so it depends so I will just add it over here and then we can just move it in the middle so now uh, we will just make it a little bit smaller like this and move it here so now I will add again lapse text inside the uh, panel and control T for duplicate and then here we will add a zero and this zero is actually lab count so lab count text and then we will again duplicate this and this will be total labs which we have to uh, finish so here I will just uh, decrease the width of this lab and for this we will also decrease the width something like this and before this uh, total labs we can place a slash here so like this okay and we can make it a little bit smaller and then we can move this object over here so you can uh, make your own design that's not important so important is the script so we will open the script the finished lab uh, script where we uh, we have added this script on the finish object and here we will add two objects so first object will be public game object and that will be lab count counter so uh, that's nice here we will again uh, write another game object which will be public int and it will be lab labs done you can say or any other name you can assign and now labs done we want to increase labs done in update method okay so actually uh, yeah on trigger enter uh, in 
inside this if statement on the top we can add uh, we can update the labs done so we will say labs done plus equal to one so we are increasing one lab when we enter the trigger okay so here after milli timer we can add uh, the lab sorry lab uh, counter this one dot get component and then we will get the component text dot text equal to and then we will say plus labs done I hope you understand the logic so it's very simple so now uh, we have successfully added the labs count functionality so now we will come to unity again and let's open the unity and uh, uh, on the finish trigger we will select our finish trigger and uh, where it is uh, it's in start point finish lap trigger and here you can see lap counter so we will add the lap count text object here okay and you can see laps done initially are uh, by default zero okay so now uh, if we run the game and if we complete a lap hopefully lap will be updated and quite big so we have to wait till finish so let's see what will happen so yeah now you can see that we have one and we didn't have changed the number uh, of the total laps so that's why there zero is written okay so we have to add there two or three whatever laps you want to add so I will just test the uh, another lap so that it should be added into our laps so let's see yeah so now you can see that we have lap to add it inside our laps so uh, total laps we will definitely make it three uh, or two here so total laps are two and now what we want to do we want to record our best time okay so let's record saving the time best time we will go to lab manager script and here we will ca uh, create another variable public static float and we can name it uh, some for example sample uh, time and then here under milli timer we can add sample time plus equal to time dot delta time delta time okay so now we will go to our finished lab script that we will again add another variable and we will name it public static sorry not static we will add only the float public float and uh, we can name it sample time the same variable okay and that uh, variable was static this was not static because we want to initialize that variable in this script so after the lab turns uh, plus equal to one we can initiate uh, that variable here so that we will say uh, sample time this sample time equal to player prefab dot get float okay because that was float and here we will 
add the float so that float was actually the uh, what is name for that float uh, sample time sample time okay so, so now uh, here before this uh, if statement we will create another if statement if and we will say that uh, if a uh, lab manager script lab manager dot sample time is less than or equal to uh, this sample time for of this script then what will happen then we will initiate this statement which we already have written and we will close our curly brackets after this milliseconds so here we will say player prefabs dot set float and we will get sample time and then we will place comma and here we will say lab manager dot sample time here and we will also add lab manager dot sample time equal to zero just like uh, these times as well okay so let's save the script try the script over here and now I think we have this uh, finish lab trigger and uh, everything is here and like okay so uh, let's see what will happen okay, okay so now for initiating the uh, game win option we can just uh, add a condition over here so we can say that uh, uh, if within this uh, method we can add another if statement and we can say that if labs done is uh, greater than or equal to 2 then what will happen so here we can uh, initiate some uvin screen so we can say uh, we will first create a game object so here we can say public game object and game object where it is game object and uh, win panel and then we will come here and we will say that win panel dot set active equal to true true and then definitely we can uh, limit the time dot delta time as well and equal to 0 f so oh why it's uh, coming in error time dot uh, sorry time dot time scale equal to 0 f so that's nice uh, we will come to our uh, unity again and here if we select the finish lab trigger we will find one more field over here and that will be a fin panel here you can see so now we can just uh, drag drop our win panel over here and definitely you already know that how win panel will work so we can add the load scene option to the buttons so let's see what will happen after second lap <coughs> you can see that we are going to complete our second lap and then what we will see now you can see 
uh, that we have added uh, Juven screen to our game also you can see the best time is uh, also calculated so that's it for this video in next video we are going to build our game goodbye